Hello, welcome back to my online class. This is Dr. S. Chanal Moanaite, Assistant Professor of Political Science, University and Higher Education Department, Government of Manipur, India. Uh, presently posted at CI College, Bisnapur District, Manipur. This is uh, in continuation of my last class where I talk in brief about what behavioralism is. We discuss there the definitions, understandings of behavioralism, and in this class we shall focus on um, factors responsible for emergence of behavioralism in political science. We'll just briefly discuss about this one and then we'll also see some of the prominent behavioralist political thinkers uh, in order to make our discussions clearer. Now coming to the factors responsible for uh, behavioral revolutions in political science. In fact, behavioralism could be traced back to the concept of system theory, which had its origin in the writings of Batalanti, a biologist in the 1920s. However, uh, in political science, it was only after the Second World War that a serious attempt uh, by, made by political, sci political scientists have been witnessed. Many political scientists were not happy with the kind of discipline they have, with the kind of the thought and technique that they had been undergoing, and they realized that they could not keep up uh, with uh, the uh, time, they could not keep up uh, with the social reality, they were uh, detached from the social reality, and they lay behind uh, in, uh, in disciplines, in sophistication of techniques, uh, they lag behind others' disciplines. Uh, this was a time where a number of writers in various disciplines uh, propagating about the need for unification of science also came up. And this concept, as I have said already, lay at the root of general system theory. Get a route, open quotation, by the opening of the 20th century, political science began to be influenced by progress made in many other phases of intellectual inquiry. Close quotation. The resulting outcome was a demand for greater use of scientific methods to political analysis, and with all the search for better methods and tools of research. The real breakthrough came with the advent of behavioralists. The, the rapid progress of behavioral political science after the Second World War was, in fact, primarily due to the dissatisfaction among the political scientists with the state of the discipline and their determination to fork new lines of development. A point that should be noted is that polit political science and political scientists had failed to keep themselves abreast with the time and with the social reality. And also they primarily did research from the library, sitting there, making use of the third two methods and technique of analysis. They interpret the world, they interpret uh, social reality. They, by and large, remain detached or in touch with the outside world, what actually happening uh, uh, around them. Preoccupied with uh, the comfort of their uh, war, they failed to see or predict the rise of fascism, communism, or explain the continuation of this regime in power for so long. Dissatisfied with the state of political science, had catapulted political scientists to look for better, functional, scientific, reliable and applicable methods and techniques of analysis. This dissatisfaction, in the words of Kilpatrick, open quotation, produced ferment and ferment chains, close quotation. This ferment chains or 
new outlook resulted in behavior approach in political science. In order to make clearer the discussions that we had so far, uh, I will take up some illustration by readings the views or the contributions of a uh, prominent behavioralist such as Arthur F. Bentley, George e. Miriam, Harrod, Dillaswell, and David Easter. To start with Arthur F. Bentley. Bentley was an American political scientist and philosopher known for his work in epistemology, logic, and linguistic and for his contribution to the development of behavior methodology in political science. His concept of process largely determined behavior approach. His book, The Process of Government, published in 1908, greatly influenced the development of political science from the 1930s to the 1950s. Bentley rejected uh, st st status abstraction in favor of observable fact and identified groups and their interactions as basis of political life. Group activity, he argued, determined legislation, administration, and adjudication. In emphasizing behavior and process, Bentley sounded themes that later became central in political science. In particular, he is insistent that all social movements are brought about by group interactions is the defining feature of contemporary pluralist and interest group approaches. Bentley fought to develop an objective, value-free analysis of politics had no initial consequences. Now coming to Harold de Laswell. We know that power is the essence of politics and behavioralists like Kathleen contended that any analysis of power cannot favor any particular value system. Laswell also elaborately dealt with this issue in his uh, work. Laswell was an influential political scientist known for his seminal studies of power relations and of personality in politics, and he is also known for other major contributions to contemporary behavioral political science. He is a member of a Chicago group. His book, Politics, who gets what, when, how, published in 1936, articulated the basic definitions of politics, gave a center place to the phenomenon of power in the empirical study of politics. Laswell focused on influence and influential, laying the basis for subsequent elite theories of politics. Laswell viewed political science as the study of changes in the distribution of value patterned in society and because uh, distributions depend on power, the focal point of his analysis was power dynamics. He defined values as desired goals and power as the ability to participate in decisions and he conceived political power as the ability to produce intended effect on other people. His 1936 book title served as the standard lay definition of politics. In this book, he viewed the elite as the primary leader of power. In Power and Society, a framework for political inquiry which was published in 1950, which he wrote with Abraham Kaplan, the discussion was broadened to include a general framework for political inquiry that examined key analytic categories such as person, personality, group, and culture. Laswell also displayed a moralistic poster calling for the social and biological sciences to rearrange themselves towards a science of social policy 
that would serve the democratic will for justice. With this, we have come to the end of today's uh, discussions. Uh, in the next class, I'll take up uh, David is Tom's and we will discuss about his contributions which he calls the intellectual foundation stones of behavioralism which became uh, one of the defining markers of behavioralism in political science.